This one is a better sweet moment for me, I gotta admit. When I found out about Small Imp for the first time, the game was in the making and there was only a few videos available on the internet, showcasing its potential and different ideas behind it. Obviously by that point, Grounded was already in existence, dominating in popularity and love that it deserved. Meanwhile, Small End was going through its development and they were still months away from releasing the game to the rest of the public. You would, of course, occasionally see content creators bring this game up here and there, but as far as validation and official release date, it was just undetermined. Fast forward, the game was released on March of 29th, of 2023 in early access and it's been consistently updated ever since not even a full year in early access the game has officially been released in full you can already see it in the store on playstation and i would imagine the very same would apply to xbox players i must say i feel incredibly proud of small lands development team just seeing this game unfold and truly bring everything that's been promised and even more makes me comfortably admit and appreciate their efforts of course, just like many other early access title, upon its first launch, it wasn't perfect and it wasn't fully optimized, as I was hoping it to be, especially running it on a pretty good system. But once again, this is what you sign up for when you purchase an early access title. But having that out of the way, the game is finally in 1.0. This almost made me feel very sad, but in the happy way, perhaps it's a happy sad. I hope that makes sense to you. Although it hasn't been long overdue, and it hasn't even been a full year, it still feels as if you're watching your child grow up and officially leaving the nest, so to speak. Now, on the high note, updates are not stopping and they will still continue on. Just as I mentioned earlier, console players will be joining if not already, which will open up more doors for new content and potential crossplay opportunities. Now, regarding crossplay, this is only me making noise, and none of this is official, to my understanding that is. But rest assured, the console players will get to experience small and in full release either way, and I'm extremely excited for them. I highly doubt the console version would perform similar to 7 Days to Die on console, especially since the game is heavily marketed towards PlayStation 5 specifically. And no game in that condition would ever come across PlayStation 5 marketing if it wasn't good. Sony is very strict when it comes to early access titles, and considering that Small Land is fully released and it is already standing on the high rating on PlayStation, gives me hope with its current performance on console. It's been a very long time since we had a meaningful survival game arrive on consoles and I would very much compare Small Land to Valheim more than even Grounded. Unfortunately when Valheim released on consoles it was only available to Xbox players, surely due to some sort of contract of course. Therefore PlayStation players were always there left hanging. Small Land isn't perfect in terms of performance still but it has been running better than ever before and I'm saying that with the full confidence. Small Land wasn't meant for everyone either. In fact, far more in between will play this once and never consider it ever again. However, for those who will find this universe charming, will fall in love with its beauty and progression system. I find myself playing this game casually, if you will. If I had a long day at work and I want to play something a bit more relaxing but also a bit grindy, I'd play small land. Strongly would encourage you to play with a friend or two, because that's where the fun really begins. If you haven't already given this game a shot, I would highly suggest that you do. I love the atmosphere of this. The seasonal changes is something I personally admire to the core. Grounded was fun and it still provided an incredible amount of content, but one thing that Small End does better over Grounded is its seasonal changes and atmosphere. It doesn't matter where you build. The snow, the harsh weather conditions, they will find you. Although it probably doesn't look nearly as good as Grounded, the idea of Small End is far more interesting to me, but this is only my opinion. Go on, enjoy yourself.